Here is a mountain of budget binders. How do you know which one to pick? Well, watch this next video and find out. Hi, how's it going? It's Michelle here with Free to Fly Budgeting. I don't even know if you could see it. We've got this mountain of binders. And if you're starting out, you may be confused on what's the right type of binder for me? What's the right type of envelope for me? I thought about doing this in two different videos, but it was kind of like the chicken and the egg. I couldn't talk about the binders without talking about the envelopes and vice versa. So I'm going to start at the very beginning of my binder journey. You have to know something about me. I love to get into projects is what my family calls them. And then I will learn everything about them and research about them. And my OCD and ADHD and just wants it to become, I wanna get the best and the best system and the most efficient system there is. And so I will try all of this out. So rather than you having to buy all this and set all this up and try all these things, just let me do all this work and you don't reinvent the wheel. So I'm going to walk you through all these different types and the different types of envelopes. And then that way you can buy exactly what you need and get started. So let me move this out of the way. And then we will talk about all the different steps I took on my budget binding searching journey. Okay, this was my very first budget binder. You can still see there's a little bit sticky where I had stuck stickers on it. This is my dollar store special. And I would recommend this if you're thinking about doing a uh, cash based budget, cash stuffing, because it is a big change to stop debiting everything and to go to mostly or all cash, depending on if you have your um, bills uh, bank drafted like I do. So I am a majority of a cash stuffer, but I just don't want all that money sitting in the house. So, and I don't want to run all over paying the bills. I don't have time for that. So I decided to let that part be bank drafted and then, so I don't go over spending, I don't use my debit card for anything else. So I bought this at the dollar store. I saw it on some ladies had a video when I first got interested in it. And what I like about it, I'm gonna go over the pros and cons of each one. What I like about it is, look, man, look how big that is. So I watched a video on how to make envelopes. And so I made a bunch of envelopes this size. And let me tell you a secret about when you make an envelope. So you don't make this. I love sparkle. It don't stick. So uh, don't do that. Uh, or maybe find a better way. But anyways, because I also have uh, OCD, you see, I'm kind of scared about these types. I had to put Velcro there because I was like, I'm always scared my money's gonna fall, fall out. So. I think that's the anxiety in me. So I've got a little dollar bill over here, $20 bill. We're going to practice on all of them so you can see the ease of it going in and out. So this one's very easy. It's extra big, extra large. You make your own envelopes or not. You don't even need them really. And you, you just, you know, label these little things like I had. And, and I actually would put my receipts in with each one of these. And it worked and, and I liked it. The, here are the things I don't like about it. Okay, number one, it's really, really big. I mean, it's bigger than my baby purse I take to work Monday through Friday. So it's, you know, this in itself is almost a purse. Number two, let's say you're at Walmart and you get up to the register and you go like this, you got money showing in all these things and I just did not feel safe. I was almost like, uh, don't look at my don't look at my money. And uh, so I just think that if you wanted to use this at home, yes. If uh, you could do that, definitely do that. If you want to do use this one, this one would be a good bill denomination separator. It's a good, I'm going to just dip my toe into the water and see. I don't want to put any money into, into cash stuffing until I see if I like it. This is great. 
Um, just know that I don't think it's the most, if you're worried about how much money people are seeing that you have in here, I also just, I don't like accordion style things. I, I have one to file my bills in. I don't like it either. I just, to me, this is just awkward. So yes, I did use it to decide whether or not I like cash, using cash, and I did. So I was like, okay, yes. We can, we've, we've moved on from the, you know, um, dollar store special and I can order me a better one because I'm going to stick with it. So we'll put that over here. That's number one. Number one. All right. Then when I was out watching all the videos, my second binder I bought was this Bella Taylor. And the reason why I bought this one, because I just couldn't get enough accordions, is because um, I like that I didn't have to have any envelopes. So again, I was trying to save money and I wasn't sure. So um, you can see now I use this to separate money. But before I actually had ones that said, you know, gas, groceries. And I think this is a great wallet. What I like about it is you can open this part up if somebody says I need to see your ID if you go somewhere and they want your um, insurance card or anything they're not seeing any of your money so I always like it when the IDs are separated from the money I like that I'm always very safety conscious what what I don't like about this wallet and I'm sure it's just me because if there's a lemon out there I'm gonna get it the um, screw fell out on the on the almost I was almost one month in now what does that mean it moves so um, you know and and you can see it moves a lot so I could um, find another size screw I could ha uh, probably uh, super glue it but again I'm not saying this is the typical quality of a Bella Taylor wallet I'm just saying this is my experience and I have watched videos of women who have used them for years and they don't have that so like I said I probably got the the lemon which you know we're gonna make some lemonade out of it who I think would like this wallet if you like Vera Bradley I think you would love this wallet if you don't want to buy extra envelopes and you want a wristlet and you want this just to be the thing you carry um i think that that is pretty good i mean and i think a lot of people's even phone could fit back here um so this could be a one-stop shop again i just don't like when i go, go to walmart and open this up and you see 20s 20s hundreds whatever i don't feel safe i don't like that so i just think it's an invitation to rob me in the parking lot or if i'm with a uh, someone for them to hit me up for money later so yeah so i just i used it the screw fell out um not saying anything bad bella taylor you know not trash talking you but you know it, it is what it is but that was wallet number two then when the screw fell out of that wallet I said, okay, I watched a video, I think it was Two Moms Budget, and she had like all these beautiful binders and all these rainbow colors and these little pom-poms, and I was like, ooh, I like that. It was something, I'm like a squirrel, ooh, that's shiny, I want some of that. So I went on there, and you know what? I went a little crazy. I was like, wow, I want all the colors, everybody in my family can have their own and I just love this. And so, yeah. So you can see that I have, you know, oh, that ain't even all. Okay, so these are the ones I bought. I actually really like these with the marbled effect, okay? And these these will run you anywhere between 10 and $17, depending on what company you order them from and and they're all very similar um they usually have that i mean i actually think they all come from the same place just different vendors but some of them like okay so my my boys 
These are their binders, okay? And they all came with um, their own envelopes and these stickers. Now, you can see these stickers are not, you know, real fancy font or anything, but I would say this is a pretty good darn deal. You get the these little, I like these. I really do like these. I feel safe with them. I think safety is a big feature when you're cash stuffing it. I'm actually going to do a video on um, safety and cash stuffing video, uh, video cash stuffing system because when I told my family and friends I was going to do this, they were like, oh, no, no, that doesn't sound safe. And uh, one guy I work with was like, that sounds crazy. That's backwards. You know, we're in the digital age. So there is a safety concern. I do think we should be aware of it. And I probably will do a video on it. So I like these because they're just not going to fall out of there. I like that the if, it, if for some reason I spill my drink, which, you know, I do so not to do that. It's not going to ruin it. And I just like these. These are probably my favorite style for just regular money. And, um, and I, so you can see that it did not come with these, this, this part right here. I made this. So, um, you can see they bend, get a bend up a little bit going in here, but you never take this part out. It's just like for look. You don't even have to have it. You can have it clear. But you know me. If I'm going in, right, I'm just going to go all in. So, I put blue ones in this one, and I've got green stuff in this one, and, you know, I did some, you know, orangey red stuff for this one. And these are my boys' binders, and that stuff does every, every month. And they're working out great. So, yes, efficient for, um, if you're trying to teach your child budgeting, if you don't have a lot of categories, if you um, live with someone else that does a lot of the, you know, the bills, if you have a romance situation, or, you, or you're just ready to move up, but not into something really fancy, this is great. I mean, you can, I mean, I would say these right here were probably the best deal I got. So, that's my three, my boys, three, their, each one of their budget binders. Okay, now, I really like these. They were pretty, and they were pretty reasonable now you i don't think that i got anything you know with them um i might have got some of the little plastic ones but anyways i really like these i like the little metal that goes on them again very reasonable i don't think these were any more i mean i think they were 10 to 15 dollars and you know that's my um what i do my bills and my um giving and again, I just made these little card stock things. I put stickers on them from the dollar store. Um, these are from the dollar store, the stickers. And then, you know, I love these, you know. But just know that, like, see, this is textured. So, you know, I would think you can pretty these things up, these ones up, because you're not going to be taking them. These stay at home. All the, all my boys' budget binder stay at home this stays at home you know so you can yeah you can be dazzled it up you know do i think that i would want to carry this with me with all this probably you know lint getting stuck to the sticker no this is just like uh, at home ones okay my bill one you know it's just like that one it does it stays at home and i wanted to show you um let's look at cell phone This is called a place card. People sell them on Etsy. I made my own. And, you know, it's just, it's like saying, I have this $200. It's at the bank, but it's a visual representation of it. I think if you're a visual learner, um, these are great. And, and it sure does help me because I am a visual learner. I need to see that. Now, one thing I am going to do is I've got these little stickers to slide. And so all my placeholders for my bills, I'm going to slide something in there that has the date it comes out and maybe any other information I want to have on there and just slide that in there. And what I do with these is as the bill clears, this comes out 
and goes into a separate thing. And I'm going to do a whole video on just my bill binder because I think that's important to really have a great, if nothing else, you need a bill binder so you never bounce, bounce anything. Um, so you always pay your bills on time so your credit stays good. So if nothing else, uh, bill, bi bill binder, you need one of those. Okay. And then this was just like the other ones, but bought from a, a separate company and they had all, this is my emergency binder. And you see, it has a place right here. Nobody's phone is fitting in there, but you could stuff receipts. Um, all of them come with a little pin slot. Um, the thing I don't like about these is you see it's a magnet, okay? Which you see, I don't stuff any of mine a whole lot, except, and let's look at the big boy. I ordered this specifically to be my holiday binder. But, if you like large print, if you have vision problems, if you just need something bigger, this is a great one. And then you just order the bigger envelopes, you know, for it, which is what I did. And um, this is similar to the other ones, you know, except it has one little more slot right here. But look how big these envelopes are. These are awesome. And again, I just cut some scrapbook paper or you could use cardstock. And, and then I ordered on Amazon, you can order labels, like 180 of them. And they have the most popular categories. My days of the month. Um, I wanted one that said subscriptions and I still haven't got one of those. So I'm probably gonna make me uh, the word subscription. It's just such a long word, you know. So I might go back out on Amazon. I'm actually thinking about ordering maybe some more from Etsy and have them personalized the way I want. But again, you know, I got the days of the, the I mean, the months of the year in here and it's just fine for me. But if you think you'd like a bigger binder and are you gonna stuff a lot of money or you're doing a budget challenge and you really want to have save off Lee where you can see it. I think this is a really good binder. And I want to think it was $15 on Amazon. But I bought this. Now, this is the problem we're talking about. Look, it's barely closing now. And I have not, or, you know, I've got a little bit in each one. Now, as the year goes on, I noticed, then it won't close. And then I'm like, you know. And so, just be aware of that like if they don't have a snap it's really hard to force them to stay closed it's almost like when you know how when you pack it for a trip and you stuff everything in your suitcase if you didn't have a zipper to hold it all in there and you had just like a magnet like this stuff your clothes will be falling out all over the airport so that's something the part of why these are inexpensive is they do not have the snap so if you plan to stuff them and to the brim, then you want to get one with the snap. If you're just going to have like, I think the most I have is my bill binder. You know, I think it has nine categories. Just don't overstuff. I'm going to show you what happens when you overstuff in just a second. Okay, so those are all that same kind of family of binders. So let's move on to the next binder I bought, which was... Somebody, I saw somebody had this one, and I liked that it had a zipper. And I thought, okay, this is going to be a lot safer for me. And they actually put their phone in there. My phone will not go in there. So I was disappointed. I thought this might be my one-stop shop um, wallet. It's Savion or Savion. I don't know. You could be Save, maybe like Save Yonder. I don't know. Savion or Savion. And it's very reasonable. And it comes with these type right here. I actually like these. And, and see, because it zips up, I don't have my OCD about money falling out. Like, you know, and I use these and I actually like this wallet. Now, here's the downside of this wallet, okay? And this is why I stopped using it. Because remember, I'm in the search for the perfect wallet. Okay, right here, this is hard to get in here and you get one two three 
So six slots on this side and then this very tight one. And then six lights on this one, six slots on this one. My problem is, um, y'all know that I have three children with autism. They all have a bunch of insurance cards and I keep up with that. So you can imagine, I can't get everybody's, just their in insurance cards right here. So I was having to put some right here. Well, this is me and my, and my ADHD brain. Um, I'd be at the doctor's office going, oh my goodness, did I forget? And I just don't like having to do this and then having to do this. Especially when this is all flapping in the wind. So I don't think this is a good plan on their part. And and I do think it's a well-constructed wallet. And they had this part right here, which you can fit your phone in. But I didn't like it because your phone's right up against these things. And I just thought, I'm going to crack my screen. So... I do like this. I just think, like, this is a good wallet. It just needs to be taken a, a little farther. Like, instead of having these two right here, why can't we have them, like, a, a whole bunch of them right here? And maybe, like, have this open and more like here. I know I'm redesigning this wallet. I would say the durability of this wallet is great. I used it. I just kept getting aggravated. It wasn't, it, it just wasn't the perfect wallet for me. It might be for you. You may only have, if you have six or less pieces of ID, which I just, that's so tight. If you have six or more pieces of ID, this might be your wallet because I do like that it has a little change purse feature and, you're, and you have two little slots right here. It's just, if you have a lot of ID going on or uh, this just is not gonna be for good. If you don't, and it's tight. But as far as, now this is big, you know, let me show you. Okay, so you see, it's wide. So if you got a little bitty purse, it's not gonna fit in there. So this again is a, a big lady, you're gonna need a big lady pocketbook. And so do I think this is a good, you get, you get, and if I remember you get little trackers too, I just, you know, never use those. But I did like this and I put the stickers on myself and I like the tabs. I really like these envelopes a lot actually. For if as long as the zipper. So, you know, I, I would like to get with Savion and redesign this wallet for them. But, you know, maybe I should become a wallet designer. Now, I want to skip to this because I got frustrated with Savion and all these others. And I'm still trying to find the right wallet for my tiny purse. And let me show you. Let me get my purse. I don't know about y'all, but when you go to work, I don't want to carry a big purse because I leave my purse, if it's big, it won't fit in this little tiny drawer I have, and I'm leaving my purse unattended in my office at some points. So I like to have a little purse that I can lock up in my little drawer. So this is the size purse, it, you know, and I like it. So, and my phone fits in here. So what I decided I got disgusted because, you know, no, no, well, maybe, maybe, okay, that one would, but nothing else, you know, no keys, nothing else. So, what I then decided to do was take these little Ipsy envelopes, and yes, I subscribed to Ipsy, and I made them, I put like little stickers on them, little stickers for designate, and I would put the envelopes in it. And I, you see, these came in that Savion, and I liked them. And I put them in there, and then I had a couple of them, and I stuck them in here, and I used them for a while. But the problem is, with these, number one, that was the cute ones, of course, is the one hard to snap. But it, they're, it, they're tight, you know? So, of course, I can't redesign Ipsy's bag. like to redesign them for them. If you give, give me that much more, I might can make these Ipsy things. But I, it was just too hard to get. You can see, I can't even get it, you know. I'm just, I don't like to have to fiddle at the register, you know. My kids get impatient. People behind me get impatient. I just don't like it. So... I, I use these again a free alternative they're cute they fit in a the little purse 
but not the perfect one. This, this is where my left Amazon, I left the dollar store, and I left Ipsy, and I ventured on, out onto Etsy because everybody kept having, you could get stuff personalized. So, then I went on to this, and I bought this from All Things Planned, and I ordered 10. You can order, she lets you order as many as you want, it just costs more, and I ordered 10. Now, when you order 10 of these things, your rings will get messed up. So, so don't order 10. Order like maybe five. Look, because see this, and this is another thing you have to understand. When you go smaller, then you have to fold your money. So, do you like to fold money? I don't know. Do you like your, I really like my money flat, to be honest. But, you know, there's drawbacks for everything. So, when I walk into the gas station, you know, I've got to make sure I carefully unfold these and don't drop them or set my car and do it first. But, you know, that is... I mean, if you're going small, you're going to have to fold your money. So, I only run with three. I have found I can run with five and the rings stay okay. I do actually like the way that you have these right here. And I actually have our vaccination cards back here. And um, I like how it has this right here. So, you put things in here. And it has a pen holder and a little coin holder here and then more. So, I want to think this was $20. And then you pay for however many envelopes you want. It comes, uh, you know, different fonts, different colors. And these are just, and just to show you the difference between the size of the envelopes. Okay. So, you see... You know, here you go. So, what I love about this, and this is my Monday through Friday wallet, because I get up and go to work, I get off, I rush home, get the boys off the bus, and I do not, when I'm leaving work, I do not go to the grocery store, I do not do anything, I just rush home so I can get as many hours at work as I can and get the boys off the bus. Do my grocery shopping, either late at night at CVS during the week or on the weekends I go. So I don't need a lot. I need gas for when I'm going to or from work. And if I have an emergency, I need some. And for me. And, and, and that's all I need. This is all I use for work Monday through Friday. If someone was to, you know, steal this from me at work, it wouldn't be devastating. But because I can lock it up in my drawer, I don't have to worry about that anymore. So, and you see that it fits perfectly in my little purse. So, I think that, yes, this is a great idea for a Monday through Friday thing for me. So, I will say, yes, thumbs up on this. This is working for me, and I probably will continue uh, to do. I found a good alternative if you carry a baby purse. Now, then, I decided my husband thought maybe he might like his own budget box. So, I'm going to tell you about this deal right here. I think I got this for $10.99 on Amazon, okay? It has a calculator. It has this. It's pretty good. I mean, uh, for $10.99, and it came with envelopes. I mean, you can't get any better than that. So, um, I think that this one is pretty good. $10.99. So, I did go back to Amazon. And get my husband one. Then my husband decided I don't want one. So right now I'm not using this one. I think this is going to be my uh, one when we pay off our debt, our fun binder. So I think, you know how you have skinny clothes? This will be the one I put up for um, maybe, you know, the things we're going to do after we pay off our debt. Maybe this will be the investment one or the, I don't know, something like that. But this one's currently not even being used. But it was a good deal. Okay. Then let's veer back to Etsy. And I ordered this one from Soul Mama. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I ordered this on Amazon. Let's detour back to 
Amazon again. And I ordered this from Soul Mama, and it came with pink um, categories. Um, I didn't, they didn't fit me, so I, I just covered them up with other stickers. But I love this. And I'm going to tell you, I was very impressed with the quality of this binder. When I ordered this, I really thought it was going to be like, I don't know, thin and flimsy, but it's not. It's actually very sturdy. And all my kids love this one. So, I've made it the weekend fun binder. And they just, I'm telling you, when I bring this one out, they're like, yes, it's the weekend. Let's go. And so, I've got my husband in my groceries and um, if I need any makeup, beauty stuff, and if me and my husband need any clothes. And then this one, I've covered in another video, but that's for my holiday shopping. I like to have it on hand in case I see any clearance or special deals or goodbyes. Um, and, you know, I, if you don't have the money, you can't buy them. And then y'all know that right here is a divider, and this is a Savion. And I do love these, I'm going to tell you. Savion, y'all call me. I'd like to redesign your wallet. And then these right here are the boys. Each one of them has a food, a clothes, a takeout. And um, the thing about these is I put some Velcro right here because they, they have it to where you can slip. Let's see, you can slip this in like this. That's a pain in the booty. I ain't doing that. So, you know, I put these on there. And I put my own. These are just stickers. You know, you can get them at the dollar store or any craft store. And um, I I like these envelopes for the boys because nobody can see them. They each know what their, you know, what their ones looks like. Um, and so what I do is every month I stuff their um, regular binder. And then I separate it out weekly into this when we get ready to go. So this just is a holder at home because I don't want to carry all the money with me. So uh, that just, you know, holds that. So this is my fun weekend binder. I like it, I like everything about it. I think it was $18.99, came with his own envelopes. They're labeled. So, you know, look at what, you know, made fit your needs. If, if you're not, I guess, difficult like I am. Uh, It'll be fine, but like this, using it. So I've got my Monday through Friday work one and my weekend um, party one. And, and you know, everybody's life's different. And that's what I always say, this is channel is for budgeting done differently because a lot of people would be able to go to the grocery store when they got off work. So they would need, you know, that in here. Um, a lot of people don't, you know, rush home to get the kids off the bus and then stay home with them for the rest of the evening. So, you know, with the way my life is, this works for me. I have to have two because, you know, that's just the way it goes. Now, your life may be different and you may, A, not want to carry a baby purse. Uh, B, want to, you know, combine these into one wallet. So, maybe one of the ones I've showed you would be a good solution for you. So, those I love, I use. Okay, so then, I watched a video, and I took one of my cheap old wallets, because I didn't know if I was going to destroy it, or if I was going to be able to do it. So, I had one of these budget binders like this, that was gray, and I thought I was going to get all fancy and put some stickers on it. Well, they were textured, and they fell off, and then they were sticky. So, what I did was... I took <laughs> some pliers and I pried this part up, okay? So, and, and it destroyed the, you know, the binder, but that was okay because I had already destroyed the binder by putting texture stickers. See, this is smooth. This is fine. You get them bumpy little sparkly stickers. No, nah, you, you know, only if you have one binder, maybe two. So, I tore that out. So, then, this was a good wallet because it had this big hump right here of where people used to write checks. So, I 
glue, super glued this in. Now you can see I could not get all of that one binder and I needed that part anyways. So I put that in there. Now, this is how I would like Savion to do their wallets, okay? <laughs> I like that I have this right here and this right here. And I love that I have all these slots right here. And I, I like that, you know, I can put my cash envelopes right here. And that works fine. And then, now, let's see. And then, I like that I could actually use the other type, the, the little ones. Where's my... Where did I put that? Okay. And I like that you could get some of these and put them in here. See? So I like this wallet, okay? But it I think I paid like, I don't even know, $10 for it at Ross. But this is going to be my travel wallet because I just think this is, you know, Hey, budget binder people, make something like this. You know, this is just, but I wanted to show you that if you have an old wallet and you don't mind destroying a $10 budget binder, this, you can make your own. So I'm pretty proud of this, you know. I think it's great. It won't fit in my tiny purse. And um, I like the fact that I've, I've got the other stuff for the boys all the way I've set it up. But I'm going to tell you, this is going to be my travel wallet. When we go on any kind of trips, this will hold everything. And I really like it. And, you know, I think it's pretty good. And I made it. So, $20. $10 old wallet. $10. Tore the thing out of this, this one. Or one like that one. And you can use... Um, you actually have two different systems you could have in there. So... Again, I like this. So, this one is a keeper. All right. And so then, when I was on Etsy the other day, I saw this one. And I was like, ooh, that's so pretty. 20 I think it's $25 from Sky Life. And so, I ordered this one because I like rose gold. And I'm thinking that this one I am going to use um, to make, to become my tracker one. So I can track everything. So this is going to be probably a um, an information binder. But I liked it. I thought it was pretty. It was only $23 or $25. And they had different sizes. And I like that one. So that's my last one. So I hope this helps you. Again, uh, we covered about every type of wallet there is. And we covered the different types of envelopes. And I am going to make a video to show how you can make envelopes. Let me just show you some of these just so you can again see it. Well, all right, look, I made this one laminated. And um, all I did was this was my very first envelope I ever made. I just used the inside of an envelope. Look, that's the inside of an envelope. And I covered it with contact paper and I laminated it. And these are those textured ones I said that. You know, don't, don't put those on the outside. That's, you're going to regret it. Okay, and then, okay, these are the ones that came with some of the various ones. And you can see that at one time I used them. And I ordered these strip stickers, which I really like, because they had categories I could not find anywhere else. So... And I want to show you, let me see if I can find this one, because I used this one for a long time. Okay. Look at how this one does. Some of them come with that. And I put my credit cards in there. But I made sure that I wanted to put debt on there, so I knew not to use them. I'm paying them off. But just, so, you know, while I was keeping them. So, that's another type of envelope. And then... Y'all remember how I said I ordered the 10 small ones from All Things Plan. Those are the extra ones in case I ever want to trade out. And then, oh, okay, I want to show you this one. I made this one, again, 
It does not stick to the sparkle paper. But I have a punch so I can put it in my Happy Planner. So I would just experiment with that too. So yes, you can put them in your Happy Planner. So just make sure you have the little punch. And so I just wanna show you that one. And then I have these right here, which for a long time I did use. And I just, this is why I don't like these, okay? If you're gonna be, these are okay if as long, don't make them a busy, busy, you know, envelope. Like you wouldn't want them to be grocery or gas because when you're at the register and you're trying to pull it out, I'm telling you, I don't know how many times I've left some money in one of these. Or when I'm pulling it, it all don't come out or all of it comes out. So I think these are good storage that you would not want um, envelopes like this to be something you go into all the time and multiple times a day. So. So I hope, I hope that um, all, all of this information was helpful for you as you, you know, try to figure out what's the right binder? What, what's the right envelope? Um, maybe these answered some of your questions about would they work in your purse for your lifestyle? How much will they hold? And uh, what kind of envelopes? Do I want my money to be folded or flat? Or how much money can they hold? So. You know, if you want to start with the, you know, dollar store one, that served me well for a while and it helped me understand what categories I needed and, you know, what I wanted to move. And each one of these took me to the next level. So I'm not saying it was a waste totally. Um, it wasn't. And a lot of them I'm using currently. But yeah, I did waste some money on a couple of them. But hey, you know, if, if I end up paying off my debt and I end up teaching my children how to budget, and actually even my husband is now becoming a much better budgeter, this is priceless. That information is priceless because God knows they should teach it in high school. I don't know why they don't. So I hope that this uh, information was useful for you today. And I hope that it helps you as you try to, you know, start your own journey. Or maybe you're just wondering if you want to switch budget uh, binders. And I just thank you for watching. If you could please like, comment, or subscribe to help my channel, I would so appreciate it. And I'm so thankful you're along this journey with me. Again, this is Michelle at Free to Fly Budgets. See you next time.